Hello, my name is Siva. Welcome to the week 4 unit 3. In this unit, we are going to talk about how to establish a connection between SAP HANA Cloud and Azure Data Explorer. First, we will talk about data replication versus data federation. Then we are going to dive deep into the architecture on the different components that are involved in creating this connection. Then we will get into SAP HANA Cloud and talk about creating the connection and the different parameters that you got to set. But first, let's talk about data replication versus federation. In data replication, a data is completely fetched from the source system and persisted in the target system. And any query that you fire on the data set will be processed by the target system. The source system is not involved in data replication after the data is replicated. But in data federation, the data still resides in the source system and any time a query is fired on that source system on a target, via a target system, the query is federated. So the way it works is you create a facade or a virtualization for the source system in your target system. So in this case, we will create a virtual table for the physical table that exists in Azure Data Explorer in HANA Cloud. And all queries that are fired on this virtual table in HANA Cloud will be delegated or federated to Azure Data Explorer every time and the results are fetched on the fly. There are two options that you have for establishing this connection. One is Smart Data Access, the other one is Smart Data Integration. Let's talk about the difference that, that's there between these two options. First, Smart Data Access. Smart Data Access is integral part of SAP HANA and SAP HANA Cloud. You don't have to do anything. All you need to do is just provide your additional credentials for accessing the target system, and then you'd be able to create the connection. Apart from this, it supports data federation primarily. And when you talk about SDI, the Smart Data Integration, the big difference is we need a DP agent, a data provisioning agent that sits between the HANA Cloud and the uh, target system that acts as an adapter for the communication. Additionally, you got to also install the target system's driver. So in this case, we would be installing uh, MS SQL Server driver to talk to, uh, to do the SQL queries to ADX. Now, if you look at the smart data access and how it actually works, so you could see that there is a data provisioning agent that is actually installed between the source system and the target system. So in this case, the target system would be a HANA cloud and the data provisioning agent acts as kind of a facade or an adapter for this target a source system. So now you would be able to create a virtual table for this uh, source system in the HANA cloud and you would be able to fire queries anytime you really want to get, fetch the data from the target system. Uh, let's talk about uh, different systems that you'd be able to connect to and what we are going to use to connect uh, to Azure Data Explorer. To connect to Amazon Athena and BigQuery, Smart Data Access is good enough, so you don't have to install any additional agents. But for Azure Data Explorer, you got to install DP Agent and the uh, MS SQL Log Reader Adapter. You can also connect to S3 and Azure Storage, and you'd be also able to attach uh, uh, at, the, at the data lake level. So all the setup that we talk about here is same for uh, HANA Data um, HANA Cloud as well as uh, DWC Data Warehouse Cloud. Now let's talk a little bit about the architecture. In the architecture, uh, we have see we see that there is a DP agent that is installed in the virtual machine. So the virtual machine here sits inside uh, Microsoft Azure. And the virtual machine uh, and the DP agent inside the virtual machine actually has the connection to the or maintains the query federation to the Azure Data Explorer. 
now the dp agent is constantly in connection or maintains the connection with sap hana cloud and any query from sap analytics cloud to this would always be uh, routed via the dp agent so let's we will get into the details of how to set up this connection including the uh, vm and uh, the configuration for uh, the azure data explorer in the next couple of slides first let's start with the dp agent now the dp agent could be in is an uh, is you could download the dp agent uh, data provisioning agent from sap services portal and uh, you have you can install the dp agent in um, either a windows machine or a linux machine or any machine that's of your choice so we have a lot of different binaries that you could download from once the vm is created and the dp agent is installed you have to configure the dp agent to connect with the sap hana cloud in the demo section we will talk about what are the different set settings that you got to do before you go ahead and establish this connection once the connection is created then you got to create an adapter so in this case the adapter would be uh, ms sql log reader adapter the log reader adapter is primarily used for um, SQL Server and the SQL Server adapter is very much compatible with Azure Data Explorer. So we are going to use the MS SQL log reader adapter to talk to uh, Amazon, uh, sorry, excuse me, Azure uh, Data Explorer. Now once the adapter is created, then you connect to uh, restart the DP agent and then the setup is complete. Once the setup is complete in the uh, HANA cloud, you would have to create the uh, ADX connection. So this is the place where you will give the credentials of the uh, ADX. So this includes the host, the port, the user and the authentication type and the additional parameters that are needed for this connection to work. So once you create the connection, then you would be able to create a remote tables for our virtual tables for the physical table that exists in the uh, ADX. Let's dive into the demo of the system. Now, what I have here is the uh, DPA a virtual machine and I have installed the DP agent. I'm not going to walk through the steps for installing the DP agent because the steps change uh, by the time uh, steps might have changed uh, by the time you are watching this video so I would uh, recommend you to refer to the official guide for the latest information so uh, once the um, DP agent is installed we have to start the agent so uh, the agent CLI bat dot bat and uh, config with the parameter config agent will be able to uh, start the uh, DP agent And here we have a whole bunch of options for, um, uh, for, for the DP agent. First, you have to start or stop the agent. So since if one, right after the uh, DP agent is, is installed, by default, the agent would be running. But in case uh, your agent is stopped, you have to start it again. In my case, the agent is already running. So I'm going to go into setting up the connection with the HANA Cloud. So I'm going to enter the option number six to establish a connection with uh, HANA Cloud. So here we have a whole bunch of options available. I'm going to choose the first option, but if you are using uh, Data Warehouse Cloud, then you can use the uh, option number two. So I'm going to enter option number one and now we would be able to enter the parameters. Uh, but in this case, I have already configured the system, but I'm still going to walk you through the different setup information that you got to enter. So you could go, you have to first enter the host name. Uh, in my case, I have already maintained the uh, HANA Cloud host name information, then the port 443. And then in this case, I'm using the DB admin for simplicity's sake. But when you are using this uh, connection for your production environment, you got to create a user with appropriate permissions needed. I'm going to enter the password. I'm going to re-enter it.
I don't have any proxy and we also have to create an additional user called uh, uh, for agent messaging so I have created a user by the name of perf user so I'm going to go with it and I'm going to enter the password Now the DP agent is establishing the connection with uh, SAP HANA Cloud and it says it has successfully established the connection with HANA Cloud. Once the connection is established, then you got to go back and then you got to register the agent. The, one, the agent registration is an important step. So this is in the option number seven. And then you got to click number one to register the agent. Now, my agent is called DP agent underscore RBSDI5. And I'm, I know the host number of this VM. And then it is currently registering this agent with the uh, HANA system. Now, the agent is successfully registered. Let's quickly go into the HANA system and see how the agent looks. Now, we are in the HANA cloud. I'm going to right click and then say show agents and then here we could see that the DP agent is available with the uh, information that we provided in the previous screen. Now this connection was established two seconds ago. Now let's go back to our uh, DP agent and let's configure our adapters. So like I mentioned early we need to create the MSSQL log reader adapter and then we should be able to uh, establish the connection with ADX. One important step before you um, uh, register your adapter is you have to put the um, uh, MSSQL uh, JDBC driver. So in this case, I have put this driver in the lib, uh, lib uh, folder of the DP agent. And uh, this is the JDBC driver that I'm currently using. Now, going back into the uh, adapter registration, I'm going to say I want to um, uh, I'll, I'll enter the option number eight and I'm going to register the adapter. So if you put number one, you will be able to see the list of uh, adapters that are already available from DP agent. So you have a, a BAP adapter, AAC adapter, and then Camel JDBC adapter is the generic adapter that you would be able to connect with any system that is not support, supported out of the box. For example, you'd be able to establish connection with Amazon, Redshift, and etc. And we have Excel adapter, file adapter, and uh, what we are interested in is the MSSQL log reader adapter. So you could see I have already registered, but I'm going to walk you through the steps that are uh, needed to register this adapter. Now let's go ahead and register the adapter. And all we need to do right now is enter the name of the adapter. So MSSQL log reader adapter. Now it says the log reader adapter, MSSQL log reader adapter is successfully registered. Now we are pretty much done with the configuration on the DP agent side. Now let's go back to uh, HANA Cloud and see how it looks. Now we had seen already that the DP agent was successfully running. Let's go ahead and look at the adapters that are uh, registered. So you could see the MSSQL log reader adapter that we had uh, registered is registered with the DP agent and you have the other bunch of um, adapters that are part of the SDA like BigQuery, Athena, etc. Now let's go ahead and create the connection with the uh, ADX using this adapter. I'm going to select remote sources. I'm going to right click and say add remote source. Okay, I'm going to give the name as ADX and in the list of adapters, I'm going to select the MSSQL log reader adapter that we created a few minutes ago. 
then we have to enter the uh, server name then port number we have to enter the database name then you have to enter the additional JDBC parameters. Then you got to go into uh, security and then you have to say yes. And then you have to enter the certificate. Then the last step here is to enter the authentication details. So I'm going to go here and select the technical user and I'm going to enter and then I'm going to enter the password That's all. Now I have to click create. Now the system is trying to create the connection. And then it says, oh, there is a typo. Let me double check the other details and then click save again. Now the connection is successfully created. So you could see here that the ADX connection that we just created is established. I'm opening the details. So you could see it shows all the tables that are available in that Azure Data Explorer instance. So if I go into tables, you'll be able to see the Azure Data Explorer tables. So we have the employee table here. In the next unit, we are going to see how to create a virtual table for this physical table and then use it for our uh, dashboard. And that's the demo for ADX uh, connection with uh, HANA Cloud. And there are further materials that are available that will be shared with you. So do stay tuned.